Hi there, I'm Jimmy Dillon. Welcome to my Acoustic Blues Project. Now, this is something I'm really excited about. I've been doing this stuff since I was a youngster. I grew up in Michigan, just outside of Chicago. And I listened to guys like Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf and some of the great, great early blues guys. So this is near and dear to my heart. And I got to tell you, of all the projects I've done, I've done several acoustic projects, a couple of electric ones. They've all been a blast to do. But my most requested subject to cover is acoustic blues. So I'm really, really thrilled to be spreading this your way and kind of going back to the early blues roots and we're gonna take it right on through the centuries, right into 21st century blues, which is really exciting too because we've had a big resurgence in both acoustic music and blues music recently. So I was fortunate enough a few years ago, back in the 90s, to record a duet with a guy called John Lee Hooker. Now John Lee is, by many, you know, by almost everybody's estimation, one of the godfathers of the blues. He came up way down in the Delta, brought it into Detroit. And I'm going to start out my first lesson for you. I'm going to start out in a sort of a primal blues moment. And it's funny because you're going to hear me play a very, very simple passage here. And I'm going to show it to you before I play it. But it's basically one string at a time. So I call this one string blues. And basically, if you get your thumb going and you get kind of a, what I call a dead thumb, I'm going to play it in the key of E, okay? And it's going to sound something like this. So we're on the root, right? Right on our E chord. And then we're going to go to our A string. Stay with me. <laughs> it's going to get good. Back to the E string. Let's go to the B note, shall we? That's your five. Down to the four, A note. So the thing about the blues is a lot of times these guys didn't have a band. They were the band. And it was their, their they were they were stomping their feet and growling and mowing and ha ah, ah, ha doing all that kind of stuff. Because they didn't have the luxury of a drummer. These guys were playing little juke joints in Mississippi. So we're taken from that deep, deep wisdom of the early blues guys, and I'm gonna show you how this is done. So if I'm playing, uh, say, a, a rhythm passage like this, it sounds, that's pretty simple, right? Yeah, it is simple. We're going, you know, we all know how to, we know how to do that basic rhythm. But here's what I found out that's really interesting. By playing one string, and I just, I just recorded a song that I'm gonna get to later. By playing one string only, Sonically, you're not dealing with harmonic notes, you're not dealing with secondary notes, you're just dealing with the root, and this is gonna be really important as we go along. So what happens is, as you're about to hear, it's gonna sound something like this. You'll notice that my thumb kept playing that. And what that does is it, it creates a lot of air around that passage. So that way when I'm playing my little licks, I'm just playing a seventh there. 